Hello, and welcome back to the Rose Garden. If you hadn't read today's topic in the uh, title, it's about marriage. And I wanted to talk about this because as a child, I remember having some weird generic, oh, I'll get married someday, maybe have a kid, la da da, don't care. And then I got into junior high and high school and it seemed like no boys were interested in me. So then I started thinking I was going to be alone forever. And I kind of made peace with that. I figured I'd just become some spinster school teacher who could dedicate themselves to helping others. But then I met Alex and suddenly I needed to be with this person for the rest of my life. And I didn't know how to deal with that at first. It took me a while to adjust to that kind of feeling. And I had had two boyfriends before and I thought, oh, I could marry them. But when I was with Alex, I knew I never wanted to leave his side. Like, I felt like he was my world and I would do anything to remain a part of it. And it was definitely interesting. And I remember, I think it was shortly after we were married, we were both working at the same grocery store for a while. And this high schooler who was uh, working with my husband asked, how can you stay with the same woman for so long? Because he and I had been together for almost two years. And this teenager just thought that being with the same person for so long would be boring and stale and that he would need a new person. And we just thought that was interesting because very rarely do we ever find ourselves bored and it's never with each other, it's with what we are doing. I think being married gives you that adventure, that goal to seek, and I've never looked back. I don't regret being married. I was, we got married young. Uh, I was 21, he was 21. Well, technically I was 20. It was the day before my 21st birthday. And uh, yeah, marriage is an interesting living situation. My husband loves to say that marriage is just one long sleepover which is not far from the truth. You just add in everything else, but you go to bed and you wake up and you eat your meals together. We go on adventures and there's ups and there's downs. That's why the vows are for better or for worse. And you live and work and learn. We've gone through school debt and credit card debt, through deaths, through happy times like my brother-in-law getting married. We've gone through my get my anxiety getting worse and he has ADHD and arthritis and tinnitus and I have asthma, my anxiety, my allergies, my skin reactions, <laughs> my uh, feet. I can't stand for too long because of the bones in my feet or whatever, so a doctor told me. Um, I moved in with my husband's family, who my mother-in-law had Parkinson's, and my husband accepted my family, where my brother has autism. So it's just been a lot of learning and sharing and growing and becoming better people for doing it. And we've gone through plenty of joys. We've been happy. I've been so happy I've wanted to cry. And I've been so sad that I've wanted to just fall into a deep black void and never come back. But that's the point. B being married gives you your highest highs and your lowest lows. But I wouldn't trade it. Like, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. And I really am grateful for having my husband 
and I wish he were here to do this video with me, but he had to go away for the weekend. And it's our first time being away for so long, and I had already planned to do this video, so it's not like I'm just sitting here depressed, but being here without him is also reminding me of what I didn't want and what I did want. I thought I was going to be this big loner bear all my life, and he changed everything, and I'm so thankful for that. And I look forward to him coming back. <laughs> and until then, I'm just going to have cats and Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah. In Dragon Age. A weekend of Dragon Age and Pokemon. But, uh, as far as marriage goes, I don't feel like... Well, okay, our wedding wasn't really religious. We had some religion in it because at the time his mother was a big Christian. My mom was still kind of Catholic and it just made sense. But I was raised Catholic and he didn't want to go through the classes so we couldn't have a Catholic wedding. So we just, we had a, a friend of the family who was a Southern Baptist preacher and he did a non-denominational wedding for us. So that was fun. But at the same time, he and I would have been just as happy going to see a judge. It was more a show for our parents, which is fine. That's the point. It's I always have the belief of religion has not bound me. The government will not bind me. I am with this man because it is what I want to do. And I think it's silly to have these, you have to be married if you're living together or have a kid together. And you have to do this or that. You don't. If you want to get married, get married. If you don't, don't. And I'm for love for all. So whatever you are, be happy. Because finding that person that can make you happy is the greatest joy you will ever know. And I hope that everyone can find that because being alone all the time is just miserable and I don't ever want to go through that again. So I hope this video wasn't too boring or sicky or rambly because I do that and I will see you in the next one. Bye!